If you've ever been to Japan and had a tuna mayo onigiri at the convenience store, you may be wondering why your homemade version just isn't as good. My first guess is that you're using the wrong mayonnaise. The perfect mayonnaise should be creamy without an overwhelmingly cloyingly mayo taste. It should accent the tuna rather than overpower it. And lucky for us, the Japanese have already made the perfect mayo, and that's Kewpie mayonnaise. The fact that it's made only from egg yolks rather than the whole eggs, rice vinegar, and a healthy bit of yeast extract, that's MSG, makes Kewpie a creamier, tangier, more flavorful mayonnaise than your standard jar of Hellman's. So switching out your regular mayo for Kewpie mayo is a good first step. You can find a link to it in the description box below. But just because you use Japanese mayo doesn't mean you're going to get that convenience store taste. The missing key is kakushi aji, or hidden taste. This is a concept that the Japanese love to use in their foods to add a slightly different flavor dimension to their foods without completely changing the flavor of the dish. It's basically that little bit of nutmeg, sugar, and Parmesan cheese that transforms spaghetti into Spa Peggy with meatballs? In nearly all Japanese food, you'll find some form of kakushi aji, and it's no different from tuna mayo onigiri. Normally, soy sauce is added along with a little bit of powdered dashi stock. The soy sauce will give it saltiness and savoriness, and the powdered dashi will also give it savoriness, along with a unique smoky seafoodiness. Trust me, it tastes a lot better than it sounds. Finally, we're adding in an ingredient that will probably surprise you, ketchup. If that did surprise you, then hit that like button. If it didn't surprise you, then hit that dislike button twice. The ketchup is there just to add a little bit of sweetness and tang, but not enough to taste like ketchup. In fact, if your tuna mayo tastes like ketchup, throw it out because you just ruined dinner. Now when you mix it up and taste it, you'll find that it's not only creamy, but savory, smoky, and slightly sweet. Just as good, if not better, than your convenience store onigiri. To get this wrapped in rice, you want to get your hands wet and grab a pinch of salt and rub it all over your hands. Take some short grain white rice, and I have to stress using short grain rice because long grain varieties don't have the starch necessary for it to hold together properly. You can check out my recommended brand of rice down below. Flatten it out and add a generous helping of tuna mayo into the middle because if there's anything to fault the convenience store onigiri on, it's that tiny amount of filling they give you. Now take a little more rice and add it on top of the filling and press it into a round shape. Add the rice into your cupped hand and Cupping your other hand, squeeze the top of the rice ball into an angle. You want to turn the rice ball and continue cupping and squeezing. And the most important point is to press the rice gently. The rice doesn't owe you money, nor did it break your little sister's heart. Be gentle with it and let the natural stickiness of the rice do its job. Now, here's where you need to decide if you're a crispy seaweed person or a soft seaweed person. If you like it crispy, you'll want to wrap your onigiri right before eating. If you like it soft, then you can wrap it and let it sit for a couple of minutes. Personally, I could go either way, so I'm wrapping mine now. You're gonna take some nori seaweed and wrap it around the rice ball so that it looks like a little Dracula cape. You can use a grain of rice to button up the cape, and then you're gonna tuck the bottom of the cape under the rice ball and set it down. One last little touch is to give your onigiri a tuna mayo hairdo, just so you know what's inside. Now we have some picture-perfect onigiri. Let's see how they taste. Oh, yow! Look at this! It's so cute. This looks like a small doll. That must. Ooh, so much tuna mayo. Whenever I pick up a tuna mayo onigiri from Tumbini, I was disappointed. Uh, I wish they, they put more tuna mayo. But this is. Yes! So much tuna mayo. This is my dream onigiri. Thank you. <laughs> I think uh, convenient onigiri is sweeter, but I don't really like sweet onigiri, but this one is much better than that because it's savory, and nicely salted, and uh, I get lots of filling inside like this. I'll never buy onigiri from convenient from now on. For full recipe, please visit our website. Thank you! Arigatou!